Hey everybody, welcome to my video on inverting a demand curve. This one's going to be short and sweet. Uh, sometimes you're going to see a demand curve that looks something like this. 100 minus 4p. And that's fine. Demand is measured in quantities as a function of prices. But here's the thing. Whenever we graph it, we have p on the vertical axis, meaning p is what's a function of q which means that this thing is looking at it in kind of a backwards order. Now I'm gonna show how to graph these in another video here real quick, but for now I just wanna show how to invert a demand curve. To invert a demand curve, instead of having Q as a function of P, I'm going to reverse it and get P as a function of Q. Now how do I do that? I gotta do some algebra, and that's what this video is here to do. So, let me spread this out a little bit so I can do some more work on this. My goal is to solve for P and get it all by itself. Now there are lots of ways to do this. There's no one way to do algebra, but I'm gonna show you my way. If it's negative, I wanna make it positive. And so I'm gonna switch what side of the equation it's on. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 4p to both sides of the equation. By doing it to both sides, the equals sign is still true. I've changed both by the same amount, and so it's still true. But it has the benefit of those cancel out, and now I've got q plus 4p equals 100. Now the next step, see I've got q plus 4p, equals 100. Well, I want to get rid of those Q's also. Uh, let me scoop this. I want to get rid of that Q and get P by itself, right? So that my next step, I'm going to subtract Q from both sides so that those cancel out and I'm left with 4P equals 100 minus Q. Then I can divide both sides by four. The fours cancel, and I get P equals 100 minus Q over four, which I could also rewrite as 20, oops, sorry, not 20, 25 minus Q over four. And that's how you invert a demand curve. This equation here gives me the exact same information as this equation here, uh, but the demand curve is a function is Q as a function of P. The inverse demand curve is price as a function of Q. And this one down here is the one that we see when we see a demand curve that looks like this. So, uh, yep, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.